What's going on, YouTube fam? This is the Wealth Investing Network. We do this for the win. You're getting a sneak peek into my stock portfolio and a sneak peek into my research on stocks. Today, we're looking at Bloom Energy versus Fuel Cell Energy. I think one of these stocks could be a buy, and I'll show you how I came to that conclusion. Before we get into it, I have to ask you to please hit that like button, turn it blue. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already for that YouTube AI. Also, please check out my other videos on hydrogen stocks because I'm gonna move quickly here. Let's jump into Robinhood. Okay, Bloom Energy has been around since 2001, but they launched on the stock market in 2018, as you can see here. Bloom Energy engages in the manufacture and installation of power generators. They convert natural gas or biogas into electricity via hydrogen. But okay, Bloom Energy is finally above their IPO price, which is good to know, and zooming into their one-year chart, they're up over 300% since their lows in March. Pretty impressive. But essentially, Bloom produces these really cool hydrogen fuel cells that can be used to power things that run on electricity, like cars, semi-trucks, factories, your house, really anything. And the vision with hydrogen and the quote-unquote hydrogen economy is that all of our vehicles will be running on these hydrogen fuel cells. And that'll be great because you won't need an electric line. Let's jump into this article from The Motley Fool. So basically, wind and solar power plants can be used to supply electricity to electrolyzers, which will turn renewable electricity and water into hydrogen gas. That hydrogen can then be moved or stored and all that stuff. So at the point of use, fuel cells will convert hydrogen back into electricity and water. The byproduct is chemically pure H2O, which means zero emissions. And this vision really excites investors. Also, specifically with Bloom, there's talk of new technology on the horizon. It's called a solid oxide fuel cell. Do your own research on this, but from what I can ascertain, take this graphic, and instead of a renewable energy source like wind or solar or natural gas being used as an electrolyzer, a solid oxide fuel cell is the electrolyzer. This way, the process feeds into itself and everything comes full circle and that's said to be game changing. Again, please drop a comment because I might not be the best at explaining this, but I hope you can better understand why there's so much hype around these stocks like plug power and fuel cell energy and bloom energy. But just from my end, all this amazing stuff they're talking about, it's not really a reality yet. We've been talking about this since the 90s. And in all this time, these companies have been racking up a ton of debt. They might make some revenue here and there, but there's no actual profits to show for all their efforts because this technology is very expensive. But when we get into the financials, you'll see that Bloom could be pretty close to a breakthrough with profitability. And before we get too far, I just wanna do a quick plug, see what I did there, to check out Robinhood and check out Weeble. They've helped me a lot. If you do your research and wanna try them, I have links in the description that can help us both get free stocks together. Robinhood gave me this stock, plug, for free. And if we get some free stocks together, I'll open mine live in future videos, like I did in this video in the card. Okay, I wanna move very quickly with Fuel Cell Energy because I've talked about them before. And again, please go check out that video. And this is their website. There's some pretty interesting stuff. You can check that out for yourself. Okay, here's their one-year stock chart, but here is the full stock chart. Ouch. At their highs, they were over $7,000, but you can see that the hype faded. And now we're back here. And I talked about some of the red flags with this business from all the way back in the day and also recently, like how they took out a PPP loan and then immediately did a share offering, which put them under federal investigation. And they've been aggressively selling their shares and they basically get to use investors as a piggy bank and they're clearly breaking the bank while also using COVID relief money. I don't know about you, but do these indicate red flags for you? And also, I'm not a financial advisor, and this is not financial advice. If you're here to watch my journey, great, because these videos are for entertainment. Speaking of entertainment, I found it kind of funny, but also kind of sad that Fuel Cell is demanding that the state of Connecticut reinstate their awards. Fuel Cell is threatening to leave the state if they don't get their way. And for some reason, the stock continues to go up. This article indicates that fuel cell investors are applauding the company's combative stance. And look, these are some things to consider, but we're going to get into the numbers because that's one thing that I value and that we're going to look at on this channel. So I'm going to get into a few more risks with hydrogen, and then we're going to put all that aside and get to the numbers. I want to point out that hydrogen flames don't burn in the visible spectrum. In other words, if a leaky piece of hydrogen storage or distribution infrastructure gets ignited, then you and first responders couldn't see 
see it without special equipment. There are some risks here, but these companies have been working with hydrogen for a long time. And if we get to the point where you're driving a hydrogen powered car, safety is gonna be at the forefront. Okay, that took longer than I thought, but let's get into my quick and dirty analysis. This is just based on rough estimates for what I could find. There are their stock prices, the market caps, the shares outstanding, we talked about fuel cells shares outstanding and how they're aggressively increasing their number of shares. Bloom Energy is doing this as well, but not as aggressively. We've got the P-E ratio or price to earnings. These ratios are negative because they have negative earnings. We've got the price to sales ratio, the total revenue. And you can see from the revenue that Bloom Energy is the much bigger company, but their market cap doesn't necessarily reflect that because there's a lot of hype around fuel cell stock and investors are flooding in buying shares, increasing their market cap. But don't get it mistaken, Bloom is the bigger company. They're bringing in much more revenue. And that's where we come to the price to sales ratio. You want this number to be as close to one as you can get, but for every dollar of revenue that these companies are bringing in, the price to sales ratio is the multiple that you're paying for that market cap. In comparison, Bloom looks much cheaper at a price to sales ratio just under six. And one reason that you would pay a multiple is that a company is growing at an exponential pace. Well, when we look at revenue growth, both of these companies have declined this year. Three of the top popular stocks with hydrogen had a better year last year than this year. You see this zero mark? The purple line for Bloom Energy shows they actually brought in some free cash flow last year. They weren't positive in terms of net income, but they were positive in terms of free cash flow, which is which is an important step. And fuel cell energy is not on this chart, so let's get into something else. I think a good metric to look at both of these stocks can be the gross margin. I think of the gross margin like my income minus my expenses just to eat, not counting the cost of my place, not counting my student loans or anything extra. Okay, check this out. Within the past 10 years, fuel cell actually has had a positive gross margin but they're back below zero again. So I think about it this way. If I'm spending all my money, all of my income just to eat and still ending up with zero at the end of the month, I'm in trouble if I don't start changing what I'm doing. This is the net margin for fuel cell when you do count taxes and debt and things of that nature. Now you can argue for fuel cell that future growth is gonna be huge. Well, we'll get into that, but first let's compare them to Bloom. This is the gross margin for Bloom Energy, and it's been positive for a while, and they actually improved compared to last year. Their net income margin is still negative, but it's increasing, and the fact that their gross margin is positive that is a good sign. So we talked about net income margin, let's move into projections and growth. Okay, both of these companies are expected to grow at a pretty impressive clip after having a lower year in terms of revenue in 2020. Now what about profitability? For fuel cell, who knows when they're gonna be profitable. But for Bloom, you can see revenue is increasing with the blue line and the green line represents earnings, profitability. Exactly what we like to see as investors and it looks like 2023, and beyond kind of in that area. But this is what analysts think. Take it with a grain of salt, if you will. The analyst target mean price for fuel cell is half of their current stock price. And sometimes I say, oh, analysts just need to update things. Well, the analysts actually did make their updates and this is still the average of what they think. And this is what they think for Bloom. Okay, I always say you're getting a sneak peek into my research on stocks. And just based on my research, I'm liking Bloom Energy. I'm not liking fuel cell energy, and I would consider starting a small position with Bloom. I know some of you probably really like fuel cell energy stock and think it's great, and maybe you're making some money off of it. I just wanna share my research. I've tried to be as objective as possible, and from what I'm seeing in the numbers, what I'm seeing in the news, I can't open up a position in this stock. It's just not something that I can get into and get invested in, however, I probably will start a small position in Bloom because I'm liking what I'm seeing from the numbers. Again, they're not profitable yet, but I think that they're on a path more than uh, fuel cell energy and more than plug power even. So that's just what I think. If you want to share what you know about any of these stocks, drop a comment. I'll try to respond. While you're there, hit that like and subscribe. It helps us grow, helps me provide better content for you. That's a win-win. And we like that here at the Wealth Investing Network. I'm not on social media. This is really just about sharing knowledge on this platform. So drop a comment here or send me an email at thewealthinvestingnetwork at gmail.com. Thanks for watching. Try to take the load off our power grid. Turn the lights off if you don't need them. I don't know. See you in the next video.